What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Ben Mahari here, representing Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. <sighs> I got to tell you, man, I feel for Spike Lee, bro. I really, really do. I mean, if you guys have not heard, yesterday, he was basically kicked out of Madison Square Garden as he was trying to enter into the arena through the employee entrance before the game. He said on first take, he always go through the employee entrance to get to a seat before every single Knicks game. And the fact that this guy got very, got basically disrespected by the Knicks organization is absolutely ridiculous. All right. And I don't want to hear the other excuses that, oh, it was some sort of misunderstanding. I don't want to hear it. All right. I'm not in the mood to hear it. All right. This man has been a loyal Knicks fan since he was a kid. He's been through it all. He's been sitting in the same seat for almost 40 years. I don't know, on 40, 50 years of his life, whatever. This man has been a dedicated Knicks fan all his life. And you're mean to tell me that this is how you treat them? Really? This is this is a year, or actually a couple of years, after Charles Oakley was actually kicked out of Madison Square Garden. You understand what I'm telling you? I'm going to show you the picture. Okay? This guy. All right? Charles Oakley. The man... The enforcer, the heart and soul of that of the New York Knicks during the 80s and 90s, who played his ass off every single game. All right? Tough as nails. Nobody wanted to mess around with Charles Oakley. And this is how you repay these men who wore the Knicks uniform with pride. And for Spike Lee, who showed loyalty through thick and thin. You understand what I'm telling you? This how you disrespect this man? I'm telling you right now. As long as, as long as this man, James Dolan, remains the owner of the Knicks, you will never, ever see a championship. Ever. All right? Don't tell me that you will. Listen, I'm going to say this right now. If you're a Knicks fan right now, I'm going to tell you what you should do. All right? And this is the only thing that I would suggest to anybody. You should throw, you should... Ask your refund for next year's season tickets. You should never, ever go to Madison Square Garden ever again. All right? This man right here, James Dolan, is the reason why you will never, ever see the Knicks win any championships. Ever. And the fact that Brooklyn was able to get Kevin Durant, DeAndre Jordan, and Kyrie Irving in the same offseason is an embarrassment. All right? The um, the unmittedly goal of all these Nick fans to basically sit there and accept this kind of foolishness from this idiot right here shows you how weak the New York fan base has become. All right. You should be protesting. You should be going out there demanding that James Jones to be removed as owner. All right. We're just waiting for the inevitable from this guy. But the truth of the matter is. This man right here, Charles, I mean, Spike Lee, who's been with the who's been a huge fan of the New York Knicks from day one. Been through every single playoff series. The last time the New York Knicks went to the finals was back in 1999. That was in the same offseason that James Dolan inherited the Knicks from his father, Charles Dolan. What has happened after that? All right. Losing seasons left and right. They only made, what, three playoff appearances and no trips to the Eastern Conference Finals since 2000, all right? You mean to tell me that this guy deserves to be harassed? Really, James Dolan? You should be ashamed of yourself, all right? And I don't want to hear anyone else trying to justify this. Nobody, all right? And another thing, too, another thing, too, that uh, Spike Lee revealed on first take as well. He also revealed why Kevin Durant never wanted to go to New York in the first place. And it was because of what happened to, you know who, Charles Oakley. How he got kicked out of Madison Square Garden by Dolan, MSG Security, and NYPD. All right? Because Kevin Durant remembered it and looked at it, and it, and he just looked at it like, why do I need to play here? This owner doesn't treat any of the players or any of his great legends with respect. So why I need to play for this team? You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, as long as this guy 
remains the owner of the New York Knicks. I'm going to tell you right now, don't even bother. Let me click this out real quick. Don't even bother. Don't even bother discussing about free agents coming to New York because it ain't going to happen. The New York Knicks are basically a junior varsity of the NBA compared to the Brooklyn Nets. That is the truth of the matter. All right? The way that the Knicks fans have had to tolerate this idiot right here. This idiot right here. James Dolan for far too long. You understand? And nobody seems to give two cents about it. Shows how weak-minded these New York Knicks fans have become. All right? Straight garbage. This man right here spits in your face and you accepted it. Mm Mm-hmm. That's right. So, at the end of the day, man... As for you, Spike Lee, as I'm going to point the picture for the last time, I feel your pain, bro. I don't like the fact that you said that you're just going to not come to the Knicks game for the remainder of the season. You should never come back to New York Knicks games for life after the way they disrespected you. All right? Like you said, you've been to every playoff series through in the Knicks history. Okay? You've been to every Knicks game since you were a kid. Your father introduced the Knicks to you. All right? They have not won a championship, get this, since 1973. All right? Since 1973. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they only made two trips to the finals in 1994 and 1999 where they have lost. All right? I'm going to end the video by saying this. New York fans, you got you to gotta, you gotta stand up for this man right here. You got to stand up for him. Even if you have any different opinions about him, this man has shown loyalty to the Knicks since forever. And for him to get this kind of disrespect is absolutely ridiculous. Let me know what you all think, though, guys. Have a good night. Peace.